Hi everyone, uh, and welcome to the YouTube launch of Cosmophoto's new film, Agent Shadow 400. This film has taken about four years to uh, get into production. I was looking for a film for the Cosmophoto brand uh, that would be good to shoot at uh, higher ISOs, uh, not just 400, but 800, 3200, even 6400. I originally had the idea uh, sort of the start of 2018 um, when I was sat at work and I had this brainwave of uh, a secret agent meeting an unknown, unnamed contact on, uh, on the corner of a street. It arrived sort of fully formed in my head and I thought it'd be fun to do a kind of secret agent story that at the end introduced the film. So I talked to uh, Martin Duncan who's uh, the designer I used for Mono and all the t-shirts and other design projects for Cosmophoto. We came up with an idea for a film called Agent Shadow, a 400 speed film uh, that would be really good in low light. Uh, but we just didn't want the traditional like, release of film uh, in, in new interesting packaging. We wanted a, a sort of deeper story. So we had the idea of coming up with a secret agent's briefcase that you would open up like this. And inside you would have five rolls of film, but also you would have this, which is a, a comic that we produced called The 36 Frames. And we took that idea of the secret agent meeting somebody on the corner of a street and turned it into a, a graphic novella the 36 Frames is a sort of late night a chase across uh, an unnamed city somewhere in Europe. Very film noir, very third man. Uh, and uh, we thought it was a great way to introduce this film that we've done. Uh, we did a short video um, in Oxford as a teaser for Agent Shadow, which we were taking to Kickstarter. Um, and we had some wonderful help from a couple of musicians, um, Tony Crow, who's a member of Lamb Chop in Nashville, uh, and Martin Venk, who's the uh, trumpet player in Calexico, who helped um, produce some special music, uh, the theme to Agent Shadow. And if you haven't seen the video, here it is now. So on a very rainy night in Oxford, uh, I think it was November 2020, uh, John and I and Jasper um, convened at a pub uh, and then spent the night wandering around uh, Oxford filming um, the preview video. Uh, and I shot uh, the following images at ISO 6400 around the video that we were shooting. Just using the available uh, street lights uh, in between filming uh, with my good friend Jasper uh, Kalf, who, who played the role of the mysterious Mr. X who was being chased across Oxford. Um, these were shot at 6400 ISO, which is uh, four stops above the, um, 
the DX coding for the film. And as you can see, uh, there's great detail, the highlights aren't blown out, um, there's a full range of tones. It's a really impressive film at ISO 6400. So uh, over the last year, um, myself and a, a bunch of testers have shot this film. We've shot the film uh, in all sorts of conditions on all sorts of cameras from uh, sophisticated Leica SLRs to uh, charity shop Zenits. Um, and I think it's proven what a versatile and flexible film this is. It's great for street photography on sunny days. It's great for low light photography if you want to push process it. Uh, I can recommend push processing it all the way up to ISO 6400. It's a very uh, modern film with a T-grain structure. Uh, so it's very sharp. It has um, very atmospheric grain. It doesn't uh, golf ball like some uh, older films will when you push process them. I shot some images at a band sound check and I've also shot pictures at a shark um, tank at uh, an aquarium up in Scotland and I was really impressed by how well the film did, um, especially at these higher ISOs. It's also great for just general photography. If you pop it into a modern compact camera, it's DX coded, so uh, it will shoot it at ISO 400. If you want a little more flexibility over pushing it, just pop it into an SLR or a rangefinder. Just adjust the camera's meter to 800 or 1600 instead of uh, ISO 400 and just uh, shoot at that higher ISO. Just please remember, uh, you need to let your photo lab know that it's shot at a higher ISO when it comes to developing it. We launched the Kickstarter last year, in June last year, uh, and we raised more than £40,000 uh, to get the film into production and also to produce these wonderful briefcases and the 36 frames comics which come within. Um, so first of all, I'd like to say a massive thanks to everyone who uh, pledged and uh, took part in the Kickstarter, who spread the word or uh, bought the briefcase boxes. Um, so we, we met our target. Uh, initially, I thought the film would come out in September of last year. Uh, that was the uh, original um, deadline that we had. But there were just enormous problems in getting the film ready in time. That's partly due to uh, the COVID pandemic and the fact that uh, most manufacturers aren't running at uh, full capacity. Uh, and also just terrible problems getting the cardboard boxes um, that the film was packed in. Uh, there's a real shortage of car cardboard around the world at the moment. So it's just massively increased the waiting time to get uh, any products that have cardboard involved. Uh, so that stretched into 2022, um, but finally in April the film was produced. And just a few days before this filming, the first uh, batch of film arrived um, at my house. So uh, I'd arranged a, a photo walk uh, with the Photographers Gallery Bookshop in London. Um, we got together nearly 40 fellow agents and we did a, a photo walk across London where people shot the film, uh, shot portraits of each other, shot street photography. Uh, and then I followed that up by introducing the film at the Photographica Camera Fair, uh, which is held in London every May. Uh, so that was most people's first introduction to the film. Uh, I'd had the film available as a pre-order as well uh, through the, the site, the Cosmophoto site. Um, basically all of the Kickstarter rewards were sent out first and now the blog pre-orders have gone out as well. And that means that if you're interested in trying this film you can order it uh, direct from the Cosmophoto site and it's, it's in stock. 
um, but also it's going to be available uh, to all of the shops and retailers and distributors around the world who normally stock Cosmophoto film. If you're interested in shooting the film, then head on down to your local camera shop or photographic retailer that you use uh, and they just might have it in stock. If you feel uh, like you missed out uh, by not backing the Kickstarter, don't worry. The Agent Shadow briefcase boxes are going to be available through Cosmophoto's online shop in June. So after four years of planning uh, and lots of uh, late nights, a few frustrations along the way, uh, I'm absolutely over the moon that the film is finally uh, out in the world. I'd like to thank everyone who's supported the film over the last four years, from the Kickstarter backers to the people who pre-ordered the film, to uh, a bunch of wonderful people who tested the film uh, ahead of the Kickstarter campaign so that I had really wonderful example photos. Um, I'm going to name them uh, at the end of the film. I can't wait to see what adventures you have with Agent Shadow.